In today's funny story, we meet a passionate marriage counselor with a shocking discovery. It turns out there's a clear link between, well, let's just say it involves some fun between spouses and a whole lot of happiness and energy. But hold on, there's a twist. This counselor sets out on a mission to spread the good word, but during a live presentation, things get a little unexpected. Will his research hold water? Or is there something more to this story? Stay tuned until the end of the joke for a laugh that'll leave you wanting more. A marriage counselor has done intensive research on the connection between making love and happiness. The results are not as simple as they sound. Many people claim that they have all sorts of pains and look for excuses not to make love on a regular basis. Then why would they do it if they are not happier without it? However, the marriage counselor found that the more times a person makes love, the happier they are. And not only that, making love regularly also has other benefits, such as giving one much more energy for your daily tasks. He then made it his calling to spread the message throughout the country and thus make many more people happy and energetic. He begins a countrywide tour to present his message of marriage revival through a small course. He travels from town to town and invites the people to attend the first day of his course for free. During his lecture, he illustrates his research by interactive means. He asks the audience, can we please get a person on stage who makes love daily? From the back of the hall, a man came running onto the stage while shadow boxing between the chairs. It's a clear sign of a man who has an excess of energy. Secondly, he asks the audience if there might be someone who makes love twice a week to come to the stage. A man stands up, walks briskly towards the stage while whistling a tune. Now he is looking for a person who makes love every second week on a Sunday afternoon after lunch. He asks such a person to come to the stage. There is a man standing slowly out of his chair and walks slowly towards the stage while he is constantly yawning. Clearly, this man needs a lot more energy. Now he asks the audience if there might be someone who makes love only once a month and can such a person please come to the stage. In the front row is a man who can barely get up from his chair. The people next to him must help him to get up properly. He walks very slowly towards the stage but doesn't have the energy to get up the steps. The other men who are already on the stage then help him up the steps. So far, the interactive illustration has worked very well, and all the people's mouths are literally hanging open as witness interactive illustration. The energy of the men who joined the marriage counselor on stage is exactly in line with his research. Now, just to put the nail in the coffin, he asks for the last time if there might be a man in the hall who makes love only once a year. If there is such a man, then can this person please come to the stage? He understands that such a person has no energy at all, and if he must then, they will be helped to get to the stage. To his amazement, a guy jumps up in the back of the crowd, does a bunch of cartwheels down the aisle between the spectators, and just jumps from the bottom to the top of the stage. The man does this by shouting, Kia ha you old devil! The marriage counselor is now dumbfounded because such energy runs counter to his experience and research. He asks the man, are you sure that you only make love once a year? Yes, said the man with a broad smile on his face. The marriage counselor then asks for the man. Now my research shows energy levels in relation to the frequency with which you make love. Also, you would have seen from all the people who accompanied us on stage that this is in line with my research. Now tell me where all your energy comes from. The man answered. Excitement. That's where my energy comes from. Excitement. Please explain to us what you are so excited about. The marriage counselor asks. The man got the biggest smile the marriage counselor had ever seen and answered. Tonight is that night. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.